Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. Thank you very much for joining me. Here we are in the McGregor household. Last time, Rowan gave birth to our 20th child, baby Tina McGregor, over here. So we are officially a fifth of the way through this 100 Baby Challenge, which is great. We aged up three of our kids into teenagers. Thank God we finally have some help looking after these infants. But because we have now got a full house, we need to start working on these kids skills oh go to school go to school go to school guys oh everyone go to school don't be late stop playing chess go to school yes and all study hard please hi kids so how is mum feeling not too bad actually actually for once she is feeling fantastic so what does this toddler need potty and communication Okay, so let's get mum to teach her to talk, please. I mean, these guys, oh, not great, but let, hopefully they'll sleep for a bit longer. Let's probably teach this little one to talk. Can you teach her to talk? Actually do some parenting for once, Rowan. Proper parenting. Are, are you going to teach her to talk? So yeah, this is baby Quinn. It's almost her birthday. And we'll get her to go potty. Oh, Ada friend. Olive's friend hasn't studied for the big exam today. Since she's taking it earlier in the day, Olive could easily remember the questions and slip her friend the answers. Should she do it or just let the friend figure it out? Mm, don't help. Olive stands her ground. She can't risk her own grade at all. The friend doesn't like that, swearing to never help Olive ever again. And reach communication level three. Wicked. All right, you go potty. Mum, come. Uh, where's the other one? I'm assuming over here. Oh, on the floor over here. Great, as usual. We need to um, feed this child, please. And how are you looking? We need some gross motor. We need some tummy time once mum has fed you. And then put Stevie down over here. Why are you sad? Should I be more lenient because she has a strict family dynamic? Are you going to potty again? Yes. Again and again until you are done. And over here. And we want to tummy time. And then Ruby. Ruby is pretty fucking fantastic. Clap milestone unlocked. Yay. Go Stevie. Babble milestone unlocked. Go Stevie. Oh shit, I completely forgot we actually have a baby as well. What are you doing? Look at toys. No mum, tummy time. Do as I fucking tell you. Bend down and do some tummy time. I'm, I'm ignoring that screaming child right now. Yes. Finally. God's sake. Okay, you are angry. I don't care. Just go again. Oh, you are so close. I know you're angry. I don't care. You are so close. Yes, potty level three. Mother, age up this toddler. Let's get my cake out. Help blow out candles for Quinn, please. Babble whilst I'm not yay. What are you doing? Quinn passing out, Quinn passing out. Yes, Quinn has passed out. That is fine. We will just wait for a second. Yes, she is up off the floor. Mother, go do your thing. Yay! Nikki is done with school for the day. Nikki's B, B, they are all B. Yay, so Quinn is cheerful and she's going to be out of five. Three, she's going to be a motor kid. That'd be good if we still had our fucking bikes, but I don't know where they've gone. I don't think they're outside. No. Okay, she is probably shattered. Yes, let's just have her go to sleep. How are our teens feeling? You feel like a champion. Get some leftovers. You and get some leftovers and just do a little nap for now. You you seriously need some fun, boy. So come play a game. Come play party frenzy. Mum is just stood there staring at a child. Can we tummy time with this kid, please? Yay, tummy time. Oh, she broke the toilet. Um, what are you doing, dear? You, how about you cook 
um, a garden salad because we have no food in the house other than pizza. And then do whatever you find is fun. And hopefully browsing the web will not get us full up. Um, I don't know what you play a game as well. How is it? Um, it's poor. Maybe she needs to cook some food. What do I trust her to do? I'm so scared of there being no fire. Yeah, let's just do eggs and toast. What are we doing, son? Parker, the only boy in a house full of women. Mitchell's here. Come, come greet one of your favourite sons. No, we shouldn't have favourites. But I do, possibly just because he's a namesake. Okay, you can stop doing that because you're just getting hungry and tired and miserable while you're playing video games. Which I, you know, fully understand. Yay, Mitchell. Mitchell was a werewolf, wasn't he? I think I'd remember that. Yeah, because it was Liam and Mitchell were werewolves. So I've been thinking, so we've had vampires. We've had werewolves. We've had Father Winter's baby. I don't know if we can have the Flower Bunny's baby. There's part of me that thinks that it's a woman inside of there. And um, whether we can have a child with them or not, I don't know. Ooh, Knox is at the door. He is clipping with our son. That is not terrifying at all. But we haven't had an alien baby yet. And obviously I do have get to work, because, you know, we go to the hospital to have a baby. I have get to work. But I've not come across an alien yet, and I don't know where to find them. So if you know where I can find aliens, let me know in the comments. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, has finished her homework. You can come and feed this one, please. And then can you bathe? Are you feeding them? Yeah, they are stinky as hell. Mitch is just sat on his own bed. Kids are not happy. I don't care. Okay, what, what, do, what do you need? You're both fine. You're both just tired. So, you know what? Try to go night-night. Stevie is trying to go night-night. Mum, yeah, go to sleep for a bit. Why are you getting up? Flan from erratic behaviour. Playing more video games. You need to go to sleep, though, son. You've got school in the morning. Oh, Mum's awake. Are you changing that kid's diaper? No, you're just feeding. All right, yeah, we'll get mum to go to sleep, and then tomorrow we'll focus on tummy timing these infants, and then oh, where's she wake, and then maybe tomorrow night we go out and try to find a man, just to just to line one up for when one of these teens finally gets out of the house. Hopefully, it's going to be Parker. Hopefully, it's having to go a whole weekend without getting pregnant again, like. How long has Rowan got before she... She was 37 days, but that takes up, like... God, that was loud. Um, that takes up, like, three more days. So then she'll have, what, 30, 34 days until she gets to that. So. This little girl, our little Quinn, needs some fun. So how do I take a bubble bath? Try to get her to do her homework. And she wants to be active, but I don't really want to send her outside. <laughs> Um, in this crazy stormy weather, it sounds, seems like a bad idea to have her outside playing basketball. Where did my bikes go? Are my bikes in the inventory? No, there are no bikes here. So I have left them in a child's inventory and then moved them out of the house. Good job, Lindsay. Ooh! <gasps> Greg had a child? I don't think we've had loads of kids. Greg has had a child. We have a granddaughter. Oh my god, Josie. All right, I don't know. I feel like, yeah. Oh, one grandchild. Oh, and I think um, <clears throat> when looking on the world map, they all have horses <laughs> as well. I should not have put that on, but yeah, not good. I wanted to see how Arwen and Bernadette are doing. They're not elderly yet. Oh, that's good. I've not had a death in the family yet which will happen at some point do you find doing your homework fun probably not what do you find fun playing with dolls yeah you can play with dolls get you a bit happier before you go to school oh we have a stinky infant Ooh, what's that Ooh, it's night on the town so yeah mum has to go out tonight because night in the town is what free food and drinks yeah and it's Tina's birthday. Yay! Another fucking infant. We need to focus on these kids. Mother. Give a bath to Ruby, please. Um, maybe when your son's not in the bathroom. Maybe when everyone's not in that bathroom. School starts in an hour. 
Give, give them a bath. Please give them a bath. Thank you. And um, how are you? You are hungry, but that's okay. You can play with your toys for now. Uh, kids, you need to go to school. 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 Oh, you are not happy. You can deal with that at school. Um, you should also be going to school. Who is phoning me? Um, Kinsley. Hey there, Rowan. Some new who's are prancing around my place. But would you like to stop by and see? I told you she got a nigger. Fucking horse. No, sorry, not right now. Everybody study hard. My mum's just giving us a little and a bath. Honestly takes so long. Who baths their child for this long? Well, it should be an over an hour. Yeah, I know you're hungry, but let, let mum pee. Just come and feed this child after you pee, please. God, everyone's leaving food everywhere. Stevie's very hungry. Yes, she is going to Stevie. You're not hungry as well, are you? No. Feeding the kid? Feed them? Yes, thank you. Um, Ada friend, Nikki's friend hasn't studied for the big exam today. Since she's taken it earlier, Nikki could easily remember the questions. Um, let's say that she's going to share the answers. Nikki's friend has never been known for subtlety. The teacher sees the crib sheet Nikki made sitting out on the desk. Both her and her friend fail the test and get a stern talking to. Performance loss. Great. Okay, what does this kid need? He needs a change of diaper. You're happy now? Yeah, my mum needs. To... Oh, Eva, it's good to hear your voice, Rowan. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Clement Frost a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. Um, Socialising is always fun. It's your, it's your choice. Well, he is your, I don't know what relation that would be. Your half-sister's father? Come on, Rowan, go eat something. You need some food. Yeah. Oh, we should harvest all of these, please. Okay, mother, tummy time is needed. Why is that kid glowing? Ah, roll on to tummy milestone. That would be why that kid is glowing. Yes, we can age them up. Why, why, why is it doing that? Why won't my cake come out? <laughs> why won't my cake come out of there? Okay, put it in Bowen's inventory. Oh, for fuck's sake. Place in world, please, Rowan. Help blow out candles for Stevie. Yay! And that's birthday candles. Okay, Stevie is angelic. Like angelic. Yay! And um, she just needs to sleep right now. Yay! Can you wake this kid up? And tummy time. Okay, Nikki is done with her school for the week. She's doing well, but it wouldn't hurt to go the extra mile. Perhaps the weekend would be a good time. Oz is done with school for the week. Parker's back from school. Friday nights are great for turning B's into A's. And Quinn is a C's. Okay, you three all need some fun. So hopefully if we play games together, that would be good. Parker's not feeling too bad. Um, you can do your homework. Kind of annoying. None of them have aged up yet. So we'll get it so they'll all age up on Monday. Maybe actually, Mum should uh, take a bath and then have a sleep for a bit no we'll just do nap um where are you going where are you going where are you going and then we'll get parker to deal with this kid you got all weekend to do your homework parker let's um pick up and put ruby there please okay no actually um yes quinn can like video games all right fine sue's to sleep fine um don't just dump your homework on the floor um, what is this toddler doing now? Bad dream. Come sit here and watch some toddler videos. Mum is a little bit peckish, but you know what? Gonna go for a night on the town. Not quite got her energy up all the way. Nap for a bit more. Get it up a bit. All right, Mum, get up. We are going to, to travel. We're going to go alone. <laughs> Where should we go? Where should we go? I think night on the town. San Myshuno would be the place to go. Stargazer Lounge, maybe? Or karaoke? Let's go to the karaoke bar. Oh, this karaoke bar. I forget which one I like best. Planet Honey Pop. Let's go there. There. Change your outfit as well. Not formal. What's your party wear? Put your nice dress on. Go into the bar, I think. Get ourselves a drink. Get a drink. What would Rowan's drink be? A hot and smoky, I think. Um, yeah, like, talk to people, Rowan. Come see, talk to um, Lorenzo Strauss. 
bring your drink with you, Bill. Okay, he's obviously he seems to be very angry and walking away. Alright, it's fine. Your man? Mm, well, the most attractive looking man I've ever seen in my life. Like, she needs some, like, girlfriends. She needs some friends. Oh, don't give me like she's gone sit by herself. If you want to have a go at karaoke, I personally have found a love for karaoke in the past few months. Me and my friend Naomi go on Friday nights, have lots of drinks, do lots of karaoke. Ooh, who's this? Zane Lee. Come introduce yourself to him. He looks cool. Is he, is he leaving? Oh no, we're having a chat. We're having a chat. Yes, someone's actually come and sat on our table with us. We're not quite so lonely. He's feeling super flirty. All right. Um, heartfelt compliment. No, don't stand up. Oh, for God's sake. I, I hate this bit of The Sims. Ask him his romantic interest straight away. Go on, girl. He is attracted to women. Well, I am more woman than you could probably handle, dude. Like, why? Why has she just gone and sat over there? For fuck's sake. Okay, she needs to go use the toilet. Oh, you can't use that one. That's the men's. Sorry. Yeah, how do I find an alien, guys? Is everyone going? It's not the most happening place, is it? Okay, everyone is very unhappy at home. Oh, hello. Who are you? Same. Yeah, he's kind of cute. He's a blogger at War of Books. Oh, uh, I forgot that Night on the Town happens for the teenagers as well. They were leaving. Yep, everyone's leaving. I should also go home. That was kind of successful. We met we met some people. And that was the most important thing. That's all all Rowan needed to do. Let's line up potential baby daddies. Yeah, how do I know if they're an alien? I literally got that pack right before I started doing the 100 baby challenge. So I've not played with any of it. I've not done the doctor's career. I've not done the policeman career. I've not done the scientist's career. So I don't really know how it works. Okay, she needs to get something to eat. I'm hoping everyone else is kind of okay. You are hungry and in need of some attention. Come and eat this eggs and dust. Stevie has a good appetite. That's good. All right, and then I think Big Bro needs to. Can we play with you? Can we back get both of your guys' fun and attention and shit? Do you want to play? Yay! That's got to be getting your attention up. What? Kind of getting his fun up too. And then I'm going to read a toddler book. Roll over to back. Yes. Is that it? Was that the last one? No, not quite. Come on, we just need one more. You can do it, Ruby. And Tina aged up and she is gorgeous. Yay! I'm ignoring the kid that's on the floor over there. Are you feeding this kid or what? Fuck's sake. Oh my god, feed the child. Bottle feed. Why is it so broken? Yes. Finally. Oh fuck. I'm not put there. And put here, put Ruby down here, and you're going to pick up this kid and put them there. Hey, big bro, you know what you can do? Potty train Stevie. Mum, come make more food because we're about to need a lot more. Um, do some mac and cheese for me, please. You, I'm going to put Tina down there. You, come on, tummy time this kid. Come on, teenagers, do this for me. Stop being pains in the asses. Oh, sh She's a baby in the farm. She's a baby in the farm. Mom, mom, she's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. Extinguish. Run away. Run away. It's not, it's not fully started yet. I don't know what's going on. Run away, mother. Run away. Jesus fucking Christ. Don't need to save them. There's no fire. Put Ruby down here. No. 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 For fuck's sake. Pick that fucking child up. 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting stressed. I'm not getting stressed. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just put the child over here. All right, mum. Are you feeling inspired because it started a fucking fire again? All I wanted was some mac and cheese. <laughs> All right. We are going to make more garden salad. Who would have thought it? Be picking this kid. Oh my god. Pick up this child. Put this child over here. And do some tummy time. Doing. It's not what I told you to. Leave the. Oh my god. Leave them alone. Why? Why? Why are you putting them here? Because they are super tired. Fine. Oh my god. And you're picking them up again. What are you doing? Just dump them on the fucking floor. Please. Pick up this child. And put them down there. Put them down, Parker. Parker, put them down. Put them down. Put them down. Put them down. Try to go night night. You are literally just stood there not doing anything. You can bottle feed this kid. And then tummy time. Bottle feed them. Bottle feed. Thank you. Who the fuck broke that as well? I'm calm. I'm calm. Honestly. <laughs> I'm all right. It's just that uh, always with the bloody fires. I can't get away from it. He's boring, Mum. Um, after speaking with you, I felt that it was best if Clement Frost and I didn't hang out. Would be a bit weird. Um, celebrate Ruby's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. No. I can't cope with that. I'm going to cook some more food. Ooh, I wonder if there's any, any gourmet cooking. Any of these not. My brain went blank. Any of these not cook in the oven. Caprese salad. No, stop with the, that. Child is being looked after. Fine, I'm 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 fine. Yeah, Ruby is aging up today, so let's just age her up. Okay, go. Why? Peace in the world, please. Ideally somewhere. I love that the candles are a light on the um, in the fridge. Ideally, place it somewhere where we can blow out the candle. No, that's not where I was thinking. Can we blow out the candles there? Yes, we can. Help blow out candles for Ruby. Yay! So Ruby is silly and stinky as hell. Mitchell, I hear the festival t-shirts are out of this world. Let's go to festival and buy one. Yep. Yeah. Let me get out of this house because it's sorted me out. Hopefully someone will look after the toddlers and the infant. But we only have one infant now. It's fine. Just the one infant. But no one to look after. Um, what is this? Oh, it's the romance festival. Okay. A uh, bit weird that my son invited me to the romance festival. I want to buy a t-shirt, do you? Anyone want to buy a t-shirt? One of these places. New t-shirt. Buy a festival t-shirt. Um, oh, I'm super angry. What do I want to do? Get into a relationship. Play a violin. Order food from a market store. Right, so. I order food. Um, order some. Oh, nigiri. And then if I talk to someone about my fears, that will get rid of it, right? Hmm. Yeah, I thought we'd get one rid of one of those. And then you talk to them about your fears, but obviously not. Let's go introduce ourselves to Thomas Watson. Um, let's just chat to all the men, shall we? Oh, well, we might want to talk to Brent. Okay, she is knackered as well. Everyone is glowing. All right, let's go talk to this woman. Oh, it's a man. Um, request some wisdom. Ask about romantic destiny. Let's go find out what is in store for our girl. Your romantic destiny is bleak. Thanks, dude. She's so angry. Uh, love is the fountain of eternal use from which we can all drink from. Sure. She's so angry. She's losing control. Get some sleep. You know what? Let's go home and get some sleep. Can we end this, please? 
Thanks for inviting us, son, but we need to go home. Got this so many. Look at all look at them all. They're all blue. We are here. Drifting love from Jersey. Caught the love of her life flirting with another. Who is the love of your life, girl? Oh, Harmony's here. And give her Harmony a hug. Who's the love of your life? No idea who the love of her life is. Oh, it's Harmony gone. Can someone go and put this kid on here, please? You know what I'm going to do. I don't care if it's cheating. Fear be gone. Drink this to remove a fear from your sin without the cathartic confrontations. We need three of them. I'm sure she will literally just get more straight away, but I don't care. Drink for fear of death, please. I don't know you're going to do this. Drink for fear of fire. Why are you going in here to do it? And then drink for fear of unfulfilled dreams. I have no idea why she's going in here to do it, but. And then go to sleep, please. What is up with you? Go to sleep. And you also. Oh, it's always dealing with you. I don't know what they're doing with you. She's still really sad from romantic doom. But at least her fears have now gone. Thank God. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. We have a few potential baby daddies lined up for next time. Once these kids, these teenagers, as much as I love having them in the house, because they are very useful when we have infants, we need to get Rowan pregnant again as soon as possible. And hopefully she'll stop feeling so sad um, about her romantic doom. I have literally just noticed that she has desire for excitement from an early midlife crisis where one's feeling bored and wants more out of life things are just blah right now great so we're gonna have that to deal with as well so thank you very much for watching i'll catch you guys next time